So I've done several videos about my Sunamp heat batteries and if you click the link above you'll see what happened the first time they failed and Sunamp were brilliant, they came back. And that was about 18 months ago and they replaced me with their new super duper version. I'm all for technologies <laughs> but this one doesn't seem to work. It's leaking again. Let's show you what I found. So it's the uh, the large Sunamp unit, the indicator lights at the top. Uh, they replaced the three units they did have, but it's let go again. And it does seem to be quite swollen again at the side. So I'm just gonna open these panels, just see if I can see anything obvious. So last week I did see a small amount of leakage from here, from this, from this area, which is coming from this expansion vessel, which has got a bit of corrosion. So I thought, well, that's leaking. So I left a tray underneath to catch just the tiny, tiny drips that were dripping and obviously going down the side and then appearing as a damp patch on the floor. So I bought a new expansion vessel, exactly the same make and model, ready to bolt on. But like I said this morning, came in to see this dry and this dry, but uh, it's depositing water on the floor again. So I've unscrewed the top and I've been in here before. Just take off this foam insulation. And basically these are the feed pipes and these are all dry. I can't see any wet from any of these joints. So I don't think it's plumbing that's let go. I think it's something deeper within the unit. So looking at this little inspection cover at the bottom where all the gubbins is, yes, it's looking decidedly wet under there. So my guess is there's something internal that has split or ruptured, which is a real shame because I really like this. The other thing I did think was my cold water pressure. Is it too much? Is the cold water pressure, has it burst anything inside there? Well, since this has been installed, I've just had it barely on. So obviously straight across is off, but it's not, it's barely open. So I've really restricted the cold water feed pressure to the sun amp. Um, yeah, so it's not that. So I think I've tried this phase change material technology. This is the second unit that sun amp have installed. But 18 months is not really a long enough lifespan that I was hoping for. So I think for me, I'm going to let them know, see how they respond. I'll do a follow-up video on their response. But I can't keep going through this every 18 months. Um, I've got a thing about water leaks in homes. It really winds me up. So it's back to a conventional immersion tank for me that will work alongside my eddy from my energy to divert the solar to the hot water tank to give us hot water. So, yeah, it's, it's a good thing about new technology, isn't it? It happens a lot on Orkney. They've tried hydrogen, which is a future video, and that's been decommissioned for vehicles in, in Kirkwall. Um, so yeah, we've tried the technology. It's not cost me anything, really. All it's gonna cost me is a new immersion tank, because the original immersion tank was went, was scrapped about four or five years ago. So I've got to buy a new immersion, but it's the time to go back to the old technology, which is proven to work because sadly, this phase change material, for whatever reason, it doesn't appear to have a very long lifespan. Anyway, I'll give Sunam the time to respond um, and let's see what happens. Thanks for watching.